We have connected a compatible camera via USB to our computer and will now launch the software. Users will first click the Live View button to enable the camera's Live View to the monitor. The Live View is especially important when shooting a 360 product view as users can pre-rotate their turntable manually to ensure their object has been positioned correctly in the center of the turntable. Next, users can define a pre-crop by clicking and dragging over the Live View window. Users should do so when rotating the turntable to ensure as the object rotates, it will not fall outside the crop markers. Users will then want to define a focal point. They can do so through mouse clicks by switching into manual focus mode and clicking the focal adjustment arrows. After the focal point has been set, it will be retained from shot to shot to ensure for consistent focal area. Last, users can make changes to their camera settings to ensure for correct exposure. As you can see, as the camera settings are adjusted, the resulting exposure is simulated in real time in the live view window. Now we are ready to get started shooting. Images are captured by clicking the snap button. Immediately after capture, the images are uploaded to the program. For our next shot, we will simply enable the live view, manually adjust our turntable to the next shooting angle, then press snap again. This will be our standard workflow. Live view, adjust turntable, then snap. As you can see, the crop marker we had defined earlier is retained from shot to shot. Cropping all images after the fact to the exact same ratio and position is often quite difficult and can be a very tedious process. You will also notice our camera settings and focal point are retained. Both very important considerations when shooting 360 product views. The entire set of 18 images took only 2 minutes to capture. Let's select these images using the Select All button and enter into the editing portion of Shutterstream. We will first inspect the background using the eyedropper tool and can notice we do not quite have a pure white background. As this is our requirement, we can use the Levels tool and make a small adjustment to change the background color to pure white. We will also choose to slightly increase sharpness to enhance our image quality. After our edits have been made to a single image, we can apply these changes to all images with the Apply to All button. Now that we have all our images on pure white backgrounds, let's go ahead and output these. We will use the Batch Saving tool to rename, resize, and output the set of 18 images. We could also choose to send these images directly to an FTP. As images are output, they will be named sequentially in a numerical order. These can easily be used with any 360 composition or 360 hosting software. Now let's take a look at our results. Manual or semi-automated turntables start at less than $50. Shutterstream helps eliminate user error is as fast as most fully automated 360 photography solutions and is very affordable. For more information, check out our website at www.iconesis.com.